Just above Capernaum on the northwest shore of the Sea of Galilee rise these rolling hills of black basalt rock and grasslands. These hills produced a naturally growing wheat that was famous throughout the Galilee region. Chorazine sprang up during the first century AD as an agricultural village known for processing this wheat. Chorazine was connected to Capernaum by a popular road used by the Jewish people. I'm a little over two miles above the north end of the Sea of Galilee at an ancient site called Chorazine. A Chorazine was a Jewish town that Jesus visited during his teaching ministry in the Galilee region. Now in modern times, Chorazine has become a large archeological site that has been divided into roughly five major sections. First, you had the town square. These are the remains of a typical home. Then you had the wheat threshing area. This is the olive press area. And this, the local synagogue. Now Jewish synagogues were an important part of the Jewish community. Not only were synagogues religious houses of prayer, but they were also general assembly halls for political events, town meetings, and even parties. Chorazine is mentioned in the Gospels as a place that Jesus visited from time to time, teaching in the synagogue and healing the sick. However, Jesus didn't have anything good to say about the people's response to his message here. He said they were among the worst of the worst. Woe to you, Chorazine! If the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. Matthew 11, 21. Tyre and Sidon were Mediterranean coastal cities during the time of the Hebrew scriptures. These cities had a reputation as being places of sin and debauchery. They were warned over and over again by the Hebrew prophets to change their ways or face the consequences. And the people of Chorazin would have been aware of those prophecies. When teaching at the local synagogue, the Jewish rabbi would sit on a small stone bench, a place of honor now traditionally known as the seat of Moses. When he actually read from the Hebrew scriptures, he would stand up out of respect. Among other tremendous artifacts, Chorazin is known for the discovery of a small stone bench that dates back to the first century. It's built out of one solid piece of basalt, and on the back is an inscription in Aramaic, the local language during the time of Jesus. Now, the original stone bench is housed in the Israel Museum, but this authentic replica rests here today amongst the ruins of ancient Chorazin. Now, it's possible that the teaching bench housed in the Israel Museum was right here during the time that Jesus would have taught as a rabbi here at the synagogue in Chorazin. You're familiar with the phrase, they don't practice what they preach. Well, the traditional origin for the name Moses Seat is connected to where that saying comes from in Matthew 23. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to the disciples, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, so you must obey them and do everything they tell you. But do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach.